This is Felicia Loves and welcome to my channel. If you are new and welcome back, if you're an existing subscriber, I appreciate you both, okay? Um, Y'all, I watched this video by Shorty Tam of her favorite Ray Dunn items. I thought it was a fantastic idea for a video and I was like, yeah, that is a great idea. A couple of years ago, um, I did a tag video um, when I first started back doing, when I first started up doing Ray Dunn on this channel and it was a mug tag. And now I see why <laughs> I did the mug tag um, separate from my favorite items. Y'all, my favorite items, y'all 10, that's like asking me to pick my favorite child, to pick my favorite finger, to pick my favorite toe, it's just no favorites, okay? Um, I love me some Ray Dunn. And when I seen um, Shorty Tam's video, which I will link her video on this video as well as Nana Natasha, um, I was like, okay, I gotta do the video. I got to do this video. So, if there will not be any mugs in this video. I am going to do a separate mug video because I just, y'all, <laughs> And I even cheated, okay? Um, because some categories have more than one item. So I even cheated and I still couldn't fit these mugs in. So I'm just gonna do a whole totally different video with the mugs. So just know that before I get started. Um, I am asking that everyone else who collects done to do it as well. Um, I'm co-signing with Natasha that this is something that anybody that collects Ray Dunn should be doing. Um, because I want to know, I want to see. So if you do do a video, um, just comment down below and I will go check your video out. I will go find it on your page and check it out, okay? Because I love these type of videos. Coming in at number 10 is my canister old school candy. It's white with black long letters. I love this canister, y'all. It is huge. Let me tell you a little something about candy and why she made number 10 on top 10. Candy is a hutch workhorse, okay? If you have a hutch like me, you need something to take up a little space. So candy fits the bill because you have Valentine candy, Easter candy, Halloween candy, Christmas candy. You can use candy almost year round. The only reason she's not in there now is because we're doing bees and honey. If, if candy can find her way in there, even through most holidays. So this is one that I would never get rid of. I even hesitated. My dumb buddy found this for me. Um, and I even hesitated to get it at first. And I was like, mm -mm, you need to go ahead and get it. So if you ever see candy, this is not like a rare item. It comes out around every once in a while. So if it ever comes back around, I say grab it. Number 10, candy yellow lemonade this is a new addition to my collection i will never get rid of it i loved it when i saw it and as i was using it in my summer items i was like this is a beautiful picture so i will never get rid of this yellow lemonade um i probably can almost guarantee they'll do a pink one next year i can because this one is the business i do like it it's not a big workhorse like candy but i just love it as being a part of my collection coming in at number eight is another new one to my collection which is queen's kitchen when i saw queen's kitchen i knew i had to have it it is so gorgeous it was just like i'm not a big topper person but the crown on this is everything y'all so i will never get rid of this it's not that rare you can still find it on makari and stuff like that you may have to pay a little extra for it but i just think it was worth it when i found it and i did find this one in the wild on my own yay so coming in at number eight is queen's kitchen okay coming in at number seven is something that i coveted for so long to find and if you're an og ray dunn hunter you know that this item was hard to find um this past year it was a little bit easier she started um circulating more of them but she kind of changed the way that it looked but it is my jelly beans yes y'all i will not get rid of this out of my collection and as a matter of fact i have two one with the older top and then i have this one with the flat top um i really like the um flat tops 
but I just don't see myself getting rid of my jelly beans so I do love this jelly beans and this one is coming up at number seven jelly beans coming in at number six is these two. I found these two at Marshall's as a return. I know they were a return. This one says treat and this one says sweet. These are super hard to find now um, and the price has gone up considerably. I actually paid retail because somebody brought them back and I went ahead and purchased them on a whim and I love them and I have been using them. Um, you know, you can use it all year round really, but in the summer I do utilize these a lot. So coming in at number six are these two canisters. Coming in at number five, y'all, this is a set and it's really a set of three, but I only have two that I could get my hands on really fast. Um, yeah, um, these are Thanksgiving canisters. I have not seen her do canisters like these for Thanksgiving anymore, um, but it's the thankful and the blessed and they are orange letters i really really love these guys and it's another one i think it says grateful but it's also orange as well i will never get rid of these out of my collection this is number five i do decorate for thanksgiving and i will be doing a thanksgiving hutch so coming in at number five are my thanksgiving canisters i will never get rid of those they will always be a part of my collection number five Thanksgiving canister. Coming in at number four is Santa's cookies. Yes, y'all, I love my Santa's cookies. I even did a whole video on how I got a hold of Santa's cookies. Y'all, this canister was hard to find Christmas 2019. Christmas 2020, she made it more readily available and a lot of people were able to pick it up then, but I love this canister. I will always display it at Christmas. I can't wait um, to have small kids running around the house wanting some of Santa's cookies. And I do, yes, put cookies in here. So I love my Santa's cookies. So that comes in at number four is Santa's cookies. Y'all, this, this was really hard. Um, the ranking of the last three items are really hard. I will never ever get rid of these. I have them in white, I have them in red, um, and I have these measuring cups, y'all. Um, and I have two sets. This set, which is rare. Um, this one says, it's got the stitching, it says Merry Christmas. The next one says Kris Kringle. The next one says St. Nicholas. And the smallest one says Santa Claus. Okay, y'all, I found these in Home Goods, and I am so glad, y'all, that I picked these up. I really wanted the red ones, but I found these instead. And I am so happy, y'all. I will never get rid of these measuring cups. And I love all my measuring cups, but these are really special. Even though I'm only able to display them at Christmas time, I do love them. Now, honorable mention is the red. Never getting rid of these either. Um, the red is a workhorse. Anytime you buy something red, Ray done, you got Christmas, Valentine's, um, 4th of July, this is a workhorse. So I did want to honorably mention her. So she is up there with this one, but I had to pick one set. It would have to be my Christmas set. Okay, up next is something that's very near and dear to me. I bought the original piece, it is a set. I bought the original piece on sale, it was a return. Y'all, I just find these returns and they just end up being gems. It was a return and I am born on the 4th of July. I want you to know that to start off with. And I just fell in love with this set. Um, yeah, I found this one at TJ Maxx for $2.50. It is this plate and it says stars and stripes, y'all. Really cute and it's got blue stitching around it and it says stars and stripes. I found it at TJ Maxx for $2.50, y'all. 
So it was a return and I just left that label on there. Just it just it just blew me away that I was able to get this for that price. And here recently I just found the one that says July 4th that matches this and I love it. It has the blue stitching around it and it has the small July 4th and it's in a different font. I think this is super cute, y'all. I will keep this forever. I will never get rid of this one. I do have another platter that says July 4th, but this one, this is everything to me. So I really love this one and I'm falling more in love with the older pieces um, and this will always be a part of my collection. So coming in, at number two is my platter set. Okay. Um, number one, I did not have to think twice about when I first decided to do this, I knew this would be number one. This item is everything. I mean, everybody, it's coveted, everybody wants it, of course, but it's special to me for a bunch of reasons. Number one, it was the first birdhouse I got. My dumb buddy bought it for me. Um, it was one of my first birdhouses. I, Lisa, I love her. Then I had an incident where my birdhouses and pictures fell off the top of my um, hutch. I was devastated. This birdhouse broke and a couple of my pictures. I was able to um, replace all of my pictures, which it was just two, lemonade and um, sweet tea, which is kind of ironic because now I have a yellow lemonade, which I love even more. But um, the sweet tea, I was hurt because it was the long letter one. The one that I have now does not have the super long letters. It's kind of a newer one, but that's okay. I, I still had it. But this item, y'all, this birdhouse, I knew for sure in my head I would never find it again. And it is the wood grain birdhouse. I found it this year around Easter time. And I just, I am in love. It is a workhorse. I use it all the time. It is so gorgeous. Can you see the, the detailing in that? It is super gorgeous. Um, I always have somewhere to put this. It's so understated and mine says home. I don't know if that's focused. Super gorgeous. I will never get rid of this. Um, you cannot pry it out of my dying hands, okay? You cannot pry this out of my dying hands. This is my number one Ray Dunn, hands down period. Um, yeah, it is hands down period. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and leave comments because it helps my channel, guys. And if you love videos like this, comment down below and I will give you more videos like this. So thank you for watching and have a great and wonderful day. Bye-bye.